Hi guys, this is Daryl Craig Harris, and um, I'm here at my apartment in Tokyo, and uh, just uh, wanted to do a short video, basically talking about my slapping approach. Um, of course, there's a lot of guys that do it, and a lot of guys that do it very well. I have my own way of doing it that works for me, <clears throat> but um, I've had a lot of questions on my YouTube page, um, and also Facebook, about uh, how I approach slapping, and what kind of techniques I work on, to, I guess, to get speed and that kind of thing. So basically, for me, um, slapping, the slapping kind of, you know, thing is not something that I use everywhere, of course. And, uh, and with uh, the show I do here in Tokyo, which is uh, Cirque du Soleil Z, um, I actually only use it in a couple of segments in the show. But um, for me, that's the kind of thing where kind of less is more, the less you use it, and when you do use it, you're really strong on it. It's more effective. If you do it all the time on everything, it kind of loses its, uh, you know, effectiveness, I guess, yeah, musically. So um, anyway, basically for me, um, I've kind of said this before, but I'll kind of recap. Uh, you take your right hand, drop it to your side, bring it up, in kind of like a natural motion and uh, just bring it over to the base. You're gonna be hitting in the first couple of frets here. Sometimes I actually hit off the frets to get a little fatter sound. So that's on the fret. This is off the fret. A little bit different sound. It just really depends on what you're going for. And um, one of the big things for me is, you know, you don't need to overplay or hit overly hard to get the sound. I see a lot of guys playing and they're playing out here and you know it's, it's showy which is cool but it, then when you're playing that that hard and that uh, that high of a level away from the bass you're going to slow yourself down. So what I found is kind of uh, motion economy or economy of motion and try to stay within I guess maybe you could say four four inches three to four inches when I'm slapping off the uh, the string so um, and basically what I you know do is uh, use a metronome which is here very important um, and this should be your friend not your foe <laughs> and uh, so basically a metronome set it at not such a fast tempo and just play quarter notes And when I'm playing quarter notes, I'm not just thinking about the note that I'm hitting, I'm thinking about the notes between the notes. In other words, playing the space, playing the rest, as it were. So I'm, I'm actually thinking in my mind, I'm thinking one and two and three and four and. And when you think through the space that you're not playing on, it actually helps you to get much more even notes. It definitely helps your time when you're playing in a band or playing with a drummer. Um, you know, especially if you're even on a slower, maybe a slow tempo, you're, you're thinking maybe even 16th notes. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a, one, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a. Now, of course, you're not going to do that all the time when you're playing, because it'll drive you crazy. <laughs> but, you know, basically, the idea is to fill the space that you're not playing, and that's going to help even out your notes, even out the space between your notes, um, which is really important. And as you get more advanced, you know, you're not going to be consciously thinking that the one E and the two E and but it's going to be in your head. It's going to be in your subconscious working for you. And uh, that's really important because you want to make sure that, you know, your time is solid and your technique is solid. So quarter notes is one thing. Then we can play eighth notes. And again, I'm playing not very far off the strings, maybe, you know, a couple of inches. Um, don't need to play out here. And uh, simple exercises, quarter notes, eighth notes. Um, for now, that's a good place to start. The most important thing is really getting the notes even, making sure that when you play an eighth note, it plays the full value of an eighth note, not kind of an eighth note or kind of a quarter note. And uh, that's, you know, where ultimately your groove is going to come from, where your, your time and having solid time is going to come from. So, um, 
so that's kind of you know the idea basically and um also, I think another thing that's important is with the slapping thing is everybody always focuses on the right hand, but actually the left hand is just as important, you know, for dampening strings. The dampening all comes from the left hand for even hammer-ons in conjunction with your, uh, with your slapping. that's all left hand so it's also important to pay attention to what you're doing with your left hand um, for me basically my basic playing technique is one finger uh, per fret so one two three four trying to spread out like that all up and down the neck and you know just have a set technique so you don't change when you speed up or, ch or slow down it's always kind of the same thing and the less you have to think about it the better you know and more solid of a player you're gonna be um, another thing that I do is actually learn from Jeff Berlin many years ago when I went to Musicians Institute. He was playing some licks and he was doing this, you know, hammer-on thing. That kind of thing. And basically, you know, it's kind of taken, I guess you would say, from Eddie Van Halen. You know, even back to the... That kind of idea, just replacing this finger with the thumb. So, and sometimes what I'm doing too is I'm not just using my thumb, I'm also using this finger, so, pulling up, okay, and again, that's something to practice slow, um, let's see, let's get a better tempo. you know, as a triplet rhythm or a 16th note rhythm. Um, typically for me, I use it in, in context of uh, triplets. So I'll, I'll just play like a little groove. So it's flashy, it's cool, uh, fun to play. Um, again, start slow, you know, get a metronome, set it at a slow tempo. Um, I think, let me see. I had it at uh, 95, I would actually even start slower than that, maybe at 80. And just try working on getting the notes really even. You know, you can also do it like this. more advanced um, you know again kind of based on the Eddie Van Halen thing you know the tapping thing um, and I just kind of morphed it into a bass thing a long time ago for me um, the other thing is I do have a drumming background I actually played drums longer than I played bass and way back when I thought well it'd be cool to take some of the drumming rudiments and apply them to bass as far as the slapping thing goes um, even things like paradiddles, which is which is an element of this kind of a thing. You can, you know, with bass, of course being a total instrument, you can break it up. So different, and to play it in different parts of the neck or however you want to do it. So 
basically, again, the, the paradiddle thing is based on a 16th notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... And um, you can kind of move it around different tones on the bass and, and make it sound really cool, very funky, depending on where you want to use it. So, um, I think that's it for now, and uh, I'll do some more installments uh, soon. Uh, please, you know, feel free to send me questions. Uh, I like meeting bass players from around the world. Luckily, through YouTube and Facebook, it uh, enables us to kind of keep in contact and exchange ideas and... Uh, you know, it's totally cool. I, I think I really, for me, I really dig that. That's something I've always wished for, and it's now, over the last few years, finally came to uh, fruition to be able to reach out and talk to people. So, cool, man. Have a good day, and uh, I'm just doing my show here in Tokyo, and uh, I'll be back in the States in January for a little bit on vacation, and just uh, trying to have fun. All right, cool. Take it easy. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.